Hi, I'm Peter, and I'm scientifically guiding the CO2 data from Boris that he collects on board of Sea Explorer. So far, Boris has collected more than a week of CO2 data during the Vendée Globe. So I would say, let's have a first look at them. What you see here are two maps provided by Stefan Raimund, showing on the left-hand side the molar fraction of carbon dioxide in the sea surface, and on the right-hand side the sea surface temperature that Boris has been measuring since the beginning of the race. Now, as Boris is sailing south, surface temperatures increase which is also partly reflected in the carbon dioxide molar fraction. Now focus on the region south of 36 degrees north. So you'll see a, an increase in carbon dioxide, which is linked to solubility. So as surface waters warm, less CO2 dissolves and remains as carbon dioxide in the sea surface. What you also see is that for most of the race, carbon dioxide has been below 410 parts per million. This is at the moment lower than the actual atmospheric parts per million levels. Now this would suggest that for most of the race, the ocean has been acting as a sink for carbon dioxide. As new data come in, we see also new interesting features. For example, south of 80 degrees north, we see a decrease in carbon dioxide, which we're now at the moment eager to explore. As you can see, Boris has already collected a lot of interesting data, and hopefully many more will follow in the Southern Ocean.